First off, seven gallon capacity, perfect for five gallon brews. Price point hits a sweet spot right at 275 US dollars for a stainless steel conical from Blickman uh, offshoot anvil. And it hits the spot. That price is saving this bad boy. It has everything you want on a budget to do a batch of beer, have a conical stainless steel, tri clamp, everything. It offers accessories, which it's lacking because there's not that many, but it offers them. You can join it with some Blickman stuff, which is good. Couple cons, we'll go over them. So first for the pros. Stainless steel construction, seven gallon, markings on the inside, racking arm spins around so you can not pick up tube, one inch dump valve, and everything is made very well, T TC fittings, and that's about it. It actually is pretty stable when you have five gallons of beer in here and you want to pick it up and move it from one room to another, which I did. Moved it from downstairs to my garage, which is below freezing, and cold crashed it. Worked perfect. Yeast harvesting, trube harvesting, hop harvesting out of here. It worked, except for the hops. And I will tell you about that for the cons. So here's the cons. One, the markings are off on the first batch. Five gallons measured and weighed out of water comes to five and a quarter, five and a third. Okay? The leg extensions, the ones it comes with are over there. They are shorties. They would work perfect if you're going to put it on a table. I am not putting it on a table. I would like to have it at waist height or a little bit higher. Only problem is it is unstable. Two things you can do. One, make a small little clip, carabiners, whatever, chain, whatever you got to do. Secure it to a wall like you would a TV so your kid doesn't pull it down. Makes it a little bit easier. Don't let your kids in your brew area. Perfect. Don't pull on it. Only problem that I had was when I was using the, the valve, as you can see, it's changed. It's oriented differently. Blickman did come back to me and say, put the valve, since it is very bulky and very heavy, don't put it on the end. Put it on the bottom of the conical. It did help out tremendously. When there is fluid in here, it does make it more stable. They did come back with a very good idea. They just don't show that on anything. They don't show it on any directions. They don't anything. Okay? So be careful. Also... You can't really do this with like one hand, even though I just did it. You have to prop your hand up against the back over here, grab, pull, and push down. If you have two hands, you can hold on with one hand and pull on it because the problem that we're gonna have is you try to pull on this right now, it wants to come forward, okay? I know there's nothing inside the conical right now, but it is a little bit harder if there is something in there. But it will, as you can see, it's above me. If I pull on it, it could come down on your head. Okay? So secure it the proper way when using these legs. Okay? Put the valve underneath. Everything. Good. Small little pet peeve. This racking arm has a rounded silicone O-ring inside. If you over-tighten that nut... That O-ring slips inside the valve, the petcock, this guy, and that arm just falls down and lays in there limp. So you do not over-tighten it. They do tell you finger tight and then like another quarter turn or whatever they say. You cannot even do that extra quarter turn. That little O-ring, when you put it inside that coupling, it actually still wants to pop out. It doesn't sit flush inside there. They should have just used a flat washer but they didn't it's you have to be careful with that when you're assembling it other thing they saved money by putting a plastic um like shoulders on here it is glued on you cannot take it off you cannot lift the, the conical out of it okay so it's not really like a two-piece or something or that it's like fixed in there with like a gasket. It does have a gasket over here. It's kind of like a, a shoulder or, or like a 
like a turtleneck on here to keep fluid from falling down and, you know, gunking in there. If you drip beer down there, it might stick inside there between the plastic and whatever and start, you know, harboring germs. They do put that on there and make it nicer and more appealing. But if this was to topple, it was to fall, it was to break, somebody hits it to it, these can break. It is pretty thick, but if it does break, you have to buy a whole new one or send it back to Anvil Blickman. They would then cut it off, probably sand down the, the conical, re-glue on a new leg shoulder girdle thing and send it back to you. Another small issue that I found, as you guys can see from my finger, gave me a little love bite. It is Valentine's Day and it gave me a love bite, this, this, this lid. The lid is kind of flimsy. It's the same one that they use on the brew bucket, I heard. But if you look at the edge, see how it's kind of turned out? There's like a little bevel at the very top of it. That thing is sharp. Listen. You can even see it. There's a discoloration on how it was bent. So that, when I, I was waving it back and forth like this, I was kind of doing it vigorously and I had my finger there. As you can see, it cut right into my finger. So be careful with that. Also, maybe you want to take a, uh, a small rasp metal file and run it around the edges. I'm afraid to just run my finger around this thing because I can feel it it's sharp. I'm going to do that after I'm done with this video. Another little small issue that I faced, there's a rubber gasket in here that seals it to the top of the lid. I cannot, for the life of me, pop this thing out without really prying at it with a tool and marring it or maybe even you know hurting the gasket i did ask if it does come out but no one got back to me yet as you can see there's probably right down over there it's not that i did try to stick like a, a small flathead screwdriver in there and i couldn't get it out so cleaning that could be as simple as just cleaning it or you know spraying it with star sand it is the lid you're not going to get direct contact with wart but it does um maybe harbor some sort of bacteria if you don't clean it properly or spray it down with star sand or whatever um that's another thing so let's see ran through changing i emailed them they did get back to me within four days the markings are off. They did state that it's within their tolerance. They're going to put it in their instruction manual that there is a variance and that you should measure it so you know what yours is. They're going to try to correct it going forward, but there is no promises. They did say that they're going to mention it in the instruction booklet. I think they should also mention the instruction booklet that you could put this valve above it as opposed to in the front that all the pictures show. There's not even a, a different way of mounting it based upon pictures. If you're using these legs, you need to put it on the bottom. It will keep it from going forward and falling forward. Now on to the good things that I have faced. True dump. 12 hours after racking the beer or the wart in, I then took a true dump, got a quarter... A, a, a mason jar, a quart mason jar worth of trube out. Great, no problem. I used their yeast harvesting. I don't have it over here, but it's a one inch barb with a plastic tube that they sell. A little expensive, but it does the job. It works well. Yeast harvesting. I top crop by lifting off the thing, taking this from the top. I also did do a dump after fermentation was done. And it came right out, a nice solid piece came out, and then beer came out. Worked perfect. Had a whole mason jar of trube and yeast slurry, which I'm saving. Gonna use within another three weeks. Bad thing is, I put in 10 ounces of hops for a dry hop, just straight in. That bad boy plugged up. Oh yeah, she plugged.
other bad thing that I found was that just with any stainless steel, it inhibits the radio frequencies of Bluetooth. So when this tilt was inside here, my phone that I had that I have next to all my fermentation vessels that's over there had to be sitting pretty much on top of this to always be seeing it. Otherwise, I've had it show me that it would just disappear off of the tilt app. So I had to move it and it would find it. Other than those things, do I recommend this? Yes. One, price point is awesome. The closest competitor is like $500. Two, you can pressure transfer by placing a barb on the top of the bung and providing a small amount of CO2 head pressure just to push it out. And you can go to another vessel or something along those lines. You cannot pressure ferment. The accessories, leg extensions, yeast harvesting, a cooling coil. With this collar here, you cannot get a neoprene jacket. Um, you cannot get a heater because you will have the, the ward up to here. You can use a belt that can go right around here, but usually it's right on the whole cone where the, where the beer is fermenting. You can't do that with this because it has that plastic piece. But does it do its job? Yes, it does. It works perfect. It works fine, in my opinion. There are some quirks, things you have to find out for yourself. How does it work with how you need it set up? I had to change the valve. I have to file down a little piece so I don't get cut again. I have to make sure that I don't over tighten that little racking arm attachment and honestly I had to blow some CO2 back up through the sample port because yeast and trube and everything were inside there and it was plugged up when I was trying to take a sample blew a little CO2 up through it no problems if your first time there is a learning curve to this it's not a bucket so with that said yes I recommend it but there is a learning curve to these things Thank you, Anvil, for making a quality product that is cost-effective and hits a price point that guys that just love this hobby but don't want to have spend so much money on it can actually get something to better their game. Thank you very much. And if you guys have any advice, anything along the lines of making this, you know, of my pros, my cons... Leave it in the, you know, the comments below. Thanks a lot.